Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you how to create a customized text portrait poster. Open a photo of someone that you'd like to use for this project. I downloaded this one from Shutterstock. The first step is to crop it tightly around the face and shoulders. Open your crop tool and delete the amounts in the width and height fields. Make the resolution 150 pixels per inch and drag the bounding box to where you'd like your image cropped. Then click the check mark at the top. To fit your image back onto your canvas, press Ctrl or Command 0. Next, we'll make a selection around the subject to separate it from its background. There are many ways to make selections, and your choice should depend on the characteristics of your photo. For this photo, I'll use the pen tool. I did an in-depth tutorial showing you how to use the pen tool, so if you'd like to watch it, I provided its link in this video's description. Once the path is complete, I'll right-click anywhere directly on the path and choose Make Selection. I'll make the feather radius 0 and click OK. After you make your selection, click the layer mask icon to make a layer mask of the selection. Control click or command click the new layer icon to make a new layer below the active layer. We'll fill it with black, but first, if your foreground and background colors aren't black and white respectively, press D on your keyboard. Since black is your foreground color, press Alt or Option plus Delete. Click the eyeball icon next to your subject to temporarily hide the layer. We're ready to add text. Find some text you'd like to fill your portrait with. For this image, I located one of my favorite prose poems, Desiderata. Once you locate your text, highlight all of it and press Ctrl or Command C to copy it. Open Notepad or another text editor and press Ctrl or Command V to paste your text into it. Edit the text so there are no paragraph spaces or other gaps. To ensure that you removed all the spaces, drag the document to the right a bit, edit out any spaces, and copy all the text. Open your horizontal type tool and pick a font. I'm using Arial Regular because it's a font that's easy to read in all sizes. I'll make the size temporarily 28 points, but you may want to use a different amount depending on the size of your document. Make the aliasing sharp, center alignment, and white for its color. Go to a top corner and drag the text bounding box to the opposite corner. Press Ctrl or Command V to paste the text into it. To adjust its size, as well as the space between the lines, Highlight all your text and click this icon to open your character panel or you can go to Window and Character. Drag the Size icon to the right or left. Start with a relatively small size. To adjust the space between your lines of text, drag the Letting icon to the left or right. Adjust the letting and the size so your text is small and the letting doesn't overlap. Press Ctrl or Command C to copy all your text. Click just to the right of your last character and press Ctrl or Command V multiple times to fill your document with your text. Double click the large T to highlight all your text and click the box at the top to open your text color picker. Pick black and click OK. Then click the check mark at the top. Make your subject visible and active. 
To restrict the text to just inside your subject, we'll clip your subject to the text by making it into a clipping mask. To do this, press Ctrl-Alt-G on Windows or Command Option-G on a Mac. To adjust the size of your text, make the text layer active, click the Character Panel icon, and drag the text size icon to the right or left. To adjust the space between the lines of text, as before, drag the letting icon. Make your photo active and click the adjustment layer icon. Click Posterize. Make the number of levels 2. To restrict the posterize effect to just the face, click the clipping mask icon or, as before, press Ctrl-Alt-G on Windows or Command-Option-G on a Mac. Click the adjustment layer icon again and this time click Black-White. Lastly, we'll create a thin white outline border framing our text portrait. Click the New Layer icon to make a new layer. Fill it with any color. I'll fill it with black. Reduce its fill to zero. Doing this makes the content inside the layer invisible, but it'll retain the full visibility of all the effects that we add to the layer. Double-click its thumbnail to open the Layer Style window. Click Inner Glow. The color is white. The Blend Mode is Normal. The Opacity is 100%. And the Source is Edge. The Choke is 100%. I'll make the size 60 pixels, but you may want to adjust this amount based on your document size. Click Stroke. The color is black, and the position is center. Drag the size slider to the left or right until you see a thin white outline surrounding your portrait. Then click OK. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.